How's it going, everyone? This is Trainer Connor, and you're watching another Wi-Fi Pokemon battle video. Thank you for coming to this video, everyone. Be sure to give me a like and subscribe as well if you enjoy. Today we have a battle versus Jay, a passerby challenger, and I've had a lot of fun in this battle. I wanted to try out some new Pokemon, and we'll see how we do. Now, I will be faster than Kyphosian, but I wanted to see if it's Scarfed or if it has Overheat or Shadow Claw or Flamethrower. We could get information about this Typhlosion here. So I switch into Flygon, who takes that Shadow Claw very nicely there, as I was correct on one of its moves. Here I go for you, turn expecting the Sylveon to come in. And I do a respectable amount right there. I will not be bothered by the cute charm ability that it has because I'm switching out anyway. Here I go with the Blade Wing. Blade Wing is one of the newer Pokemon that I bred as well. It has Stealth Rock, Whirlwind, Brave Bird, and Steel Wing. Here I set up the Stealth Rocks, which is important for a couple of Pokemon here. And for Typhlosion, I don't have anything that could take a flamethrower or overheat in this case. So we're going to sell this on Blade Wing. I do whirlwind her out into her salamence after this. Which I'm okay with that, even though I got her reset on the overheat special attack drop there. I do roar her into salamence and salamence is another Pokemon that I don't feel like switching out from. We're going to sacrifice Blade Wing. So, good job Blade Wing, you did a great job in this battle. Here I go back into IQ Master. I am Focus Sash, so I'll take whatever hit it wants to throw at me. I have Dazzling Gleam. Unfortunately, I do not kick it out. This is a weird IQ Master set, or Alkazam rather. It has Dazzling Gleam, Charge Beam, Psychic, and Shadow Ball. So it's designed to get a special attack boost and then hopefully get that boost and then revenge kill things. So unfortunately for me, her Umbreon switches out. I don't get that special attack boost, which wouldn't matter anyway because even if I got in the boost, I don't think a plus one Dazzling Gleam would take out Umbreon because Umbreon is very bulky. Now, I I have Spike the Cat Gurn here. I was really close to going for a Drain Punch, expecting Typhlosion to come in, but at the same time, I wanted to play the best move, and Sea Bomb would do a lot more in this case. I need extra damage on the Typhlosion anyway. Again, Overheat is a very strong move, so, we're going to have to sacrifice my Cacturn there. I could have switched out into Flygon, but you know what? Overheat is a very strong move as it is. We're just going to have to get a safe switch in and go for Earthquake. And we take out her Typhlosion, which is amazing. Now, for Sylveon, I am faster. I'm not sure if this will KO. Sylveon has a lot more special defense than physical defense, and we see it here. So Typhlosion and her Sylveon are out, and just with my Flygon. Now, my opponent makes a misplay here. If you saw the team preview, I noticed that she had a Dugong. I'm not sure why she didn't bring that in. If she brought that in, she would have threatened me out with an Ice Shard or something like that. But no, she actually decides to sacrifice three of her Pokemon because she brought in her Ampharos goes Mega. And I'm just going to take her out with another Earthquake. That was totally uncalled for. But Flygon, you got three KOs. Now, I wanted to see if she had the Ice Shard. And so, going into my next trick would be a great play here. But no, she she only has Ice Beam. I'm really surprised about it. 
Now, expecting Umbreon to come in, I go for that Volt Switch. As a Mega Evolve, Mega Manectric has the Incinimate ability, as usual. Not going to affect the Umbreon much, but it's fine. We'll go, we'll go for that Volt Switch and switch into something more appropriate. I go back and get IQ Master and like, wait, what? Why IQ Master? Well, I'm faster. I have the Gazzling Gleam and we can hopefully take out Umbreon and we do. So I guess I could stay again earlier in the match, but it's neither here nor there. We have Dugong still. I have Charge Beam. We're going to finally use it here. We get that special attack boost, which has a really good chance, but I don't really get that very often. And we take out the Gugong and her Salamence because I have my Stealth Ox up. There you go. That's the end of that battle for sure. Great job, everyone, for that great battle. And thank you to my opponent for that amazing battle there. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give me a like and subscribe for more narrated Wi-Fi battles for the future. Alright, you guys have a great week. I'll see you later. Bye now.